passion, drive, and patience. The formula of winning championships is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything for you to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. Superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED lights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has it covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices that you want, it's easy to make your car the MVP it needs to be and bring home huge wins. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Again, ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Long form monologue. I would be. Ta- I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bring. I'm not gonna mention what information just got brought my way. But I am full fucking hot on it, and I wish I had longer than a, than a minute to express my disappointment. I mean, we can we can start the speed portion of the show. When Timer we go started. Stories. Yeah, I mean, uh, no, the time the time doesn't start until after I've set up said topic. Okay. So I'll br- I'll just bring it up. Hey man, I'm sorry. I'm really it, it, I didn't. It's okay. You know, I'm not mad at you at all. I'm I not w- mad at anybody. I'm mad at fucking Colton. I wasn't. I wasn't trying to. Uh, I wasn't trying to get you out of the zone before the show. Right? I just wanted to just take care of the things that you know people. You know, and needed. this is and this is so not like Colton. Colton usually has way more class than this. I hold I hold Colton in such a way different, higher regard and decorum than what he has just been what has just been uh brought to my attention. And so let me go I am gonna I'm gonna set it up and then I'll tell you when to Got it. You know, let me I almost need wish I had a bell. Wish I had a bell to say when to start. <clears throat> Uh, I guess I do got. I guess I do have. All, never mind. I mean, I have all kinds of sound effects. Of course. There you go. So that that means you hit your. That means you start. Gotcha. All right. So it's been brought to my attention yesterday that Colton thought he did such a great job. Uh, in 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 God, you know, everybody's got their fucking hand out. You know, Jesus, everybody's got their fucking hand out, <clears throat> and my margins are so slow, and so little. It, that this month, you know, July, July was our worst month. It, it, it is normally, uh, if, you know, for for the year. July is just slow. It's a extra slow July. Um, but I guess Colton asks if he could get a little something, something for his up and beyond Warsaw stuff. Now, the stuff was brilliant. The stuff was great. I used to think that you did the majority of your shit for the love of the brand, and I think you've done years and years of that. So throwing you a little bone uh, for this is certainly something I need to do. You are a great ambassador for us. You're a great guy. You're just, you know, you asking for money a little bit was a little bit kind of, you know, it took me back a little bit, but I get it. Uh, you did a great job. So yesterday, Seth, as the union rep, said, hey, you know, people have been screaming or Colton had kind of asked for, you know, a little, maybe a little bony for how well he did in Indiana. And I first started at a hundred bucks. And then I think Seth goes, well, I was thinking more towards like a buck 50. And I said, you know what? We'll just make it 200. Okay. So boom, that was yesterday. What, you know, 26 hours ago or yeah. so. And so, um, I haven't, and so let me, I'll tell you, I haven't set it up yet. We're okay. almost, I'm almost ready to ring my bell. Yep. So right before we start the show, Seth says, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, and I'm not trying to get you in a bad mood, and I, I know that this union rep thing that I that I do is kind of shtick and, 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 you know, like that, but uh, Colton reminded him, Seth, uh, that, I hadn't, that, he, that I hadn't paid him yet his 200 so let me go ahead and start. Uh, All right. Let's start. Got it. Colton, you motherfucker. Do you know what I'm going through right now? My my girlfriend's mom is literally on life support. I'm trying to to make sure her head is on my number one priority is Erica's health. We we you know, her mother is in dire, dire, dire straits. I've been trying to spend as much time as I can and do, you know, do that sort of thing. And I'm a man of my word. I've never promised Seth or Rhett or anybody 
a, 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 a bonus that I did not fulfill. I've never done that. I always repay, Lummy, if you got goat, goat feed or anything like that. Yep. Sometimes I forget because I got a lot going on, and this happens to be an instance where I forgot. I think you could have handled it far more graciously than one than I'm being I'm one day late. There we go. One day late, and now you're already fucking dinging me. You know, Colton, I'll get that money to you later this afternoon, but you can fuck off. Semi auto glass trap is hundred dollars. And I don't mean that like fuck off forever. That's just chicken shit, Colton. That's just straight chicken shit. Um, man, I'm uh, listen, and I I didn't. I wasn't trying to get Colton in trouble, and I wasn't trying to get you fired up at all. I just wanted to just follow through with. <laughs> yeah, just well, I, he, he just he he. I just, wrote it on my notes. I'll process it uh, after I get off the air today. I suck uh, at this. No, you don't. I suck at being a union rep. I know you. <laughs> You're fired. What the fuck? No, you motherfuckers don't want him fired. He takes all the heat for you, poor guy. Who, me or Colton? No, you. Oh, yeah. Being the union rep. <laughs> how much are they paying you? Nothing. Well, Colton said he'd give me 5%, but then I did the math, and that's 10 bucks, and I just figured it would just like, be- Why would I irritate Bubba for fucking $10? Oh. <laughs> I got. I don't want any money. I don't want any money at all. Wait, I he just- said 5%? Yeah, he did. He said what a five. cheap ass. Yeah, Colton, whatever. You know what, Colton? You're not, you're not dead to me, but you, I, I'm just telling you, you've you've lost a step with me, bro. You've 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 lost a you've, oh, man. You've, you've lost you've lost a step with me, bro. Fuck, fuck, fuck. You really have, because I'm fucking I'm good. I'm good for my money. I've never not paid somebody that I was gonna pay. I mean, Macho Man, when you when you buy shit, man, and you need reimbursement, boom, I got it to you. And if I forget, you remind me later. So anyway, listen, let, let me. There we go. We got to move on. Yes, we do. Next story: uh, Michael Jordan. Partying like he's in fucking from the 96 Bulls in Miami with his wife. Uh, just to, I think I think this is f- very, very recent. Yes, and it I, was. And I, I got to tell you, hold on. <laughs> Hit it, Lummy. Got it. I got to tell you, Michael Jordan looks like he's still got some fucking swag. He's Check bringing this the out. to yeah. his woman. Hell yeah. Check this out. There's no, there's no volume on this. This is a little shorty, though. Yeah. Michael Jordan's got a got a cigar. Look at that fucking it's, ring it's on a, her. A, look, look at that fucking. I mean, hot white bitch, probably twenty six as junior. You see that fucking ring? That ring looks like an ice skating. <laughs> her, her ring looks like an ice skating ring. Man, good imagine, for Michael. Imagine taking that dick every night. Oh yeah. Poor thing. She needs a ring that big. Just the amount of work you got, you got to put into the. You know, Michael needs the, that because everybody's ripping on Michael, saying like he was shooting for the fucking Wizards and not playing when he was thirty nine, and LeBron's balling up right now in France. But MJ's living it up, okay? He didn't need to play forever. That's right. Well, I mean, he's had, and he has and he has more personal wealth than LeBron's getting there. I think. You think so? You oh, think, you think yeah. LeBron's oh. gonna be as? Wor- I, mean, wor- LeBron, worth- I mean, yeah, I think LeBron will be. I think LeBron will surpass Michael. <laughs> Thank you. <Louis. laughs> These are speed stories, ladies and gentlemen. Stories I wanted to get to, uh, but never did. And we can cut them in half. I mean, we don't have to do all of them in one day. We'll do we'll do however many of them yeah. in one day. Uh, what is this? Uh, hot damn! Trump just destroyed this route. Oh, this was this African. He's going. He went to Chicago. I got to set up the story. He went to Chicago to talk to an African American uh, group. And this African American, um, and Kamala was supposed to be there. Kamala was supposed to be there. She didn't show. In this was just, you know, Seth. This was a setup sabotage. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what I don't know what it was supposed to be. Like, why why would Kamala show up to something? Like, would it be a debate? I don't yeah. know what they. Well, they invited both of them. And Trump shows up. Doesn't that say something? And then this African American woman, who quite frankly, I'm. I mean, very honestly, is very attractive. She's very attractive. Well, there's a few reporters up there, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's two other the ones. One in, the, one in the blue dress that I'm seeing here is beautiful. And they just start hitting Trump with, like, one fucking gotcha next to another gotcha. Like, her whole agenda is just to shove it up his ass. And journalistically, this is chicken shit. This is chicken shit. Let me just play a little bit of it, Lummy, before I get you to start the clock, okay? Perfect. An hour of your time. I want to start by addressing very beautiful look how look how hot she is the elephant in the room sir a lot of people did not think it was appropriate for you to be here today you have pushed false claims about some of your rivals 
from Nikki Haley to former President Barack Obama, saying that they were not born in the United States, which is not true. You have told four congresswomen of color who were American citizens to go back to where they came from. You have used words like animal and rabbit to describe black district attorneys. You've attacked black journalists, calling them a loser, saying the questions that they ask are, quote, stupid and racist. I'd be like, can you let me? I'd be like, can you let me answer one of them? Oh, I'm surprised he didn't jump in, man. Had dinner with a white supremacist at your Mar-a-Lago resort. So my question, sir, now that you are asking black supporters to vote for you, why should black voters trust you after you have used language like that? Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question so in, in such a horrible manner. First question. <laughs> Now, which one? Now, listen, her stiffness would be validated if there was silence in the room, but he got a pop. I mean, he got a pop. I couldn't figure out what the if the crowd was pro him or if it was just pro Chicago. I, mean, I couldn't because I, I felt th- like there was boos and cheers throughout the whole thing. I don't know if they were for the reporter or for Trump. But I mean, th- th- this is a pop. Use language like that. Well, first of all, I don't think I've ever been asked a question. So, in in such a horrible manner, first question. (laughs) You don't even say... That's a pretty damn big pop. Oh, yeah. Hello, how are you? Are you with ABC? Because I think they're a fake news network, (laughs) a terrible network. Again, up, up, up. He's killing it, man. I think it's disgraceful that I came here in good spirit. Uh, I love the black population of this country. I've done so much for the black population of this country, uh, including uh, employment, including uh, opportunity zones with Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina, which is one of the greatest programs ever for uh, black workers and black entrepreneurs. I've done so much. And, you know, and I say this, uh, historically black colleges and universities were out of money. They were stone cold broke. And I saved them, and I gave them long-term financing, and nobody else was doing it. I think it's a very rude introduction. I don't know exactly why you would do something like that. And let me go a step further. I was invited here, and I was told my opponent, whether it was Biden or Kamala, uh, I was told my opponent was going to be here. It turned out my opponent isn't here. You invited me under false pretense. And then you said, you can't do it with Zoom. Well. Uh, you know, where's Zoom? <laughs> she's going to do it with Zoom, and she's not coming. Where's Zoom? And then you were half an hour late, just so we understand. I have too much respect for you to be late. They couldn't get their equipment working or something Mr. was President, wrong. I, would love I think it's a very nasty question. Wow. I, I have answered the question. Trust you with another I have years. been the best president for the black population since Abraham Lincoln. Better That's than, my answer. Better than President Johnson who signed answer. the Voting Rights Act? And for you to start off a question and answer period, especially when you're 35 minutes late because you couldn't get your equipment to work in such a hostile manner, I think it's a, a disgrace. I let really me, do let it. Me just- I, 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 start the clock, let me. <clears throat> got it. Um, oh, uh, let me give me a proper sound. Of, geez, I got something. Hold on. Start it right now. I, I think... That he, that she just had, you know, nine gotcha shotgun willies all ready to go. Boom, boom, boom. And I thought that he handled that about as good as, about the best as he could. She's trying to make a name for herself. Seth, what do you think? I mean, I think she jumped right into it. There was no reason for any fluff. Although, I mean, she thinks she could have said, you know, how's it going? I also think that it is kind of jobberish to tell him that he couldn't zoom in at all. They could have very easily put him on the screen there and not have wasted the time if he thought his opponent was actually going to show up. Yeah, I mean, and then then his opponent not showing. Up. Well, they said well, they were also thinking about putting Kamala on Zoom, but but and they were they thirty-five couldn't. minutes late. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because like, of equipment issues. Here's the deal, man. I think there's some African Americans that are really disturbed by the African American support that has been shown Donald Trump, and I think it makes reporters like that women, that woman, and others uncomfortable, and they're just really, really trying to press the Kamala gas and make and and gaslight him and make him look as stupid as he can. Boom. <clears throat> Headlines read, 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 Shane McMahon, Tony Khan, of course from the AEW, photographed having a private meeting as a, the AEW in, intrigue grows. Okay, start it, Lummy. Uh, now, Seth, is this a Shane has always kind of done his own thing and never really, really quite jived with Vince, and this is him going and just trying to get you know a decent contract based on being Shane McMahon, or is this... 
you know, potentially, uh, you know, something else. I think that I think uh, Shane McMahon uh, has something to offer. I think Tony Khan with AEW is they're struggling. I think they have a ton of talent, but he needs to figure out how to take it to the next level, get it organized a little bit. And I think, you know, consulting with Shane or bringing Shane on is is a great get. I think it's a great inside move for uh, the WWF and the Vince McMahon, you gotta see the backstage, kind of see what's going on back there. Yeah, but but listen, you're, when you're when you're when you're in first place, you could care less about what the second place guy is doing. Or you see future talent. And I think uh, Shane, I don't think Shane is not in good with uh, no, with his he, family. Yeah, I think. Shane's not there bird dogging for the WWE. You don't think so? Shane's there taking care of Shane. Vince picked Hunter over Shane. Yeah, That's Shane <laughs> Shane's there. Shane's there on behalf on behalf of Shane. Period. Next story. CNN hosts. Um, uh, are bothered by the short list of all white men on Kamala's short VP list. <laughs> what, what 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 is her VP list? Let me here. Let me play the story. Hold on. One thing that is noteworthy that cannot be missed in when we put up the screen of the short list, if you will, all of them, most of them, all of them are white men. Most of them. See are- again, again, a society, and even a, a major, major, major news network. It's open season, and they're offended if white men are the only option. There's some instances, obviously, Kamala feels as if her only options are white men. I mean, maybe white, you know, I just, I, but it's, it's made to look like it's a bad thing now. It's open season on white men. Oh, my God. Kamala only has white men. Well, who can I love a great deal just as much as the next guy, but I'm not going to crawl through a bed of hot coals or go out of my way just to save a few bucks. And if I am, man, it's got to be easy. No hoops, no BS. So when Mint Mobile says it's easy to get wireless for 15 bucks a month with the purchase of a three-month plan, I'm going to call them out on it. Turns out... It's really that easy. It's that easy to get wireless for $15 a month. The longest part of the process was the time I spent on hold waiting to break up with my old provider. That's a nightmare. Wish everything was as easy as meant. All plans come with high-speed data and unlimited talk-to-text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your old phone number with you, along with all of your existing contacts. To get this new customer offer with your three-month premium wireless plan for only 15 bucks a month, you must go to mintmobile.com forward slash Bubba. That's mintmobile.com forward slash B-U-B-B-A. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com forward slash Bubba. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Speed slower on 40 gigabytes on unlimited plans. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Hey, podcast listeners. Great news. All your favorite comedy podcasts can be enjoyed ad-free on Amazon Music. Listen to your favorite music, plus top podcasts, completely ad-free on Amazon Music, included with your Prime membership. Dive into a world of laughs by downloading the Amazon Music app for free, or go to amazon.com slash ad-free comedy. That's amazon.com slash ad-free comedy to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Summer is supposed to be an opportunity to slow down. But when you look at your kids, you can't help but notice that your kids are growing up fast. Help them build independence as they grow with Greenlight. Greenlight is a debit card and money app for families where parents can keep an eye on kids' money habits while kids learn how to save, invest, and spend wisely. It's the easy, convenient way to raise financially smart kids. Get your first month free when you sign up at greenlight.com slash Wondery. That's greenlight.com slash Wondery. Maybe she's got the most qualified people to help her win the, win the ticket. Who cares what that person is? But there's a massive debate about what color she is, too. I know, but like, they specifically are mad at white men here, regardless of what she is. Our Democratic governors, you are a very prominent, very well-known and respected Democratic governor yourself. Does it bother you that they're all white men? No, no, I not. No, at all. I'm not trying to race bait like CNN is. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do what's best for my for my party. Oh, I mean, not at all because I don't want to look at gender here. I really don't think it's fair because we have a lot of talented women governors. I text them all the time. The men are very talented. So that's the that's the the beauty of what we have here is that we have a lot of talent. So I'm not going to take offense that she doesn't pick a woman. The only person that's taking offense is CNN. 
or person and, and, you know, and, and, from and some particular more, state and, off. And the more you're offended, the more of a news story it is, and the more the snow snowflake libertards can, will start, you know, sucking your CNN dick. Oh, wow. Whoever she picks, it's going to be a dynamic duel. No doubt about it. Who now? Okay, let me start the clock. Hold on here. Let me see where my deal is here. <laughs> Do, do we know, like, do we know who her shortlist is? They showed the, the picture of the guys in the oh, okay. video. The, okay, right here we go, right here. Right. Does it bother you that the Democratic right, So it's looking like it's, oh, God dang it. Uh, Booty Judge. Uh, the guy from Kentucky. Josh Shapiro. Mark Kelly, the astronaut. He's and, in the running. Uh, the I think it's the Minnesota I, I think, governor. Uh, no, Yourself. Yeah, I think, that's, I think it's, I think, I think, I think they got to go with the Pennsylvania guy. I mean, you got to go with either the Pennsylvania guy or the Minnesota oh, guy. Oh, Barack Obama. You got to go with the Pennsylvania guy or the Minnesota guy because that guy can maybe give you that state, and those are such huge, huge states, Lummy, that they got to win. Yes, they are. And so they they they've they've got to win one of these two swing states. So the governor's got to come from either Pennsylvania or Min or, or Minnesota. Period. That's it. Done. Next story: potential VP. Uh, Kamala Harris uh, picks pick triggers far left. Is this the same thing? Is this the same thing? Yes. But on Fox? Yeah. So Fox is met. Right, well, today, Pennsylvania We're Governor and Shapiro. Special VP pick Josh Shapiro set to rally with Kamala Harris. The group No Genocide Josh says selecting a vice presidential nominee with anti-Palestinian and pro-war views will <laughs> depress turnout among Muslim, Arab American, and young voters. Boy, let's really head and really frag drill down as to what this guy, who this guy is going to offend. Yeah, really. Here I mean, reaction is I mean well, who cares that, that anti-Palestinian and pro-war uh, and Arab Americans may not like this guy? Who cares? How about the Elise Kushners, your hardcore Democrats out there that you should be trying to make happy? Who cares about young Muslims? <laughs> I care about former school teachers. <laughs> That's the, your, your base, right? Just bitching about enough everything. I, I don't know anymore, but that website, No Genocide Josh, that's got to be good for him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's getting out there. Um, this is going to get interesting with, you know, those on the far left of her party warning her, don't pick this pro-Israel governor. <laughs> yeah, let's start with what Josh Shapiro would bring to this ticket, okay? Pennsylvania, where he is wildly popular. Boom. That's drop the goddamn microphone. Start the clock. <laughs> I mean, th th that's... He is um, oh. known for working a what Josh Shapiro would bring to this ticket, okay? Pennsylvania, where he Boom. is... Boom! Done! Done! That's all Josh needs to bring is Pennsylvania! Wildly popular. He is um, known for working across the aisle, working with Republicans, supports schools... And quite frankly, I think he's... I think he comes across better than J.D. Vance vouchers, right? This is a guy who knows how to talk to Pennsylvania voters, knows how to talk to the moderate middle. He's great on issues like the class divide. He immediately got... Seth, your opinion on uh, on, on the governor of Pennsylvania. I, I don't know much about him. He's Jewish. I saw one of his speeches. I saw that they call him Barack Obama, and uh, that, that's all I really know. And that's good enough for you. I mean, he's, he's Jewish. That's, that's, that's what I know right now. Yeah, I mean, that's... I, I don't know his politics. That's all Bubba. you need. That's I, all you need to know is that he's Jewish. That's everything you need to know. It works for me. <laughs> Thank you. Let me move it on. What am I supposed to study every VP? No. This is a lightning round, my friend. Sorry, I'm yelling at America. You are. <clears throat> Let me look at look at me lighten my tabs here. Yeah, look at Fa that. Uh, Dr. Fauci accused of lying to Congress using private emails with uh, Beaglegate what, journalist. What? Beaglegate is uh, where they were taste, uh, testing his medicine and stuff like that on uh, beagles. Oh, oh, no way. Yeah. Hold on. So Dr. Fauci was part of a group that was testing medicine on be dogs? Yes. Like domesticated beagles? Yeah. That's fucked up, man. That what is we, fucked up. Why did we, when did we stop fucking with rats? Yeah. Yeah, he wanted to do. Uh, he wanted to fuck do? that weirdo. Let me play the story. Don't don't start what the timer ass yet. Fucker. Yeah. What a cocksucker. Jeez, man. Cunt. <laughs> Damn, let me, let me, let me <laughs> came hard in the paint. <laughs> you guys got math fuckers. Let, let, let me let me re, let me iter, iter out what I wanted to call Colton today. Oh, man. <laughs> little cunt, so oh. uncomfortable. Fuck you, Colton. No, no. Oh. Paying one dollar increments for two hundred days. 
<laughs> Pitch. Don't you get mine? You want to get pennies for you? Today. I think about it as Colton wouldn't care if there were $200 worth of pennies. He wouldn't care. He's like, nope, I took it to the bank. Got it shorted out. Dr. Fauci, you oversaw one of the most invasive regimes of domestic policy the U.S. has ever seen, including mask mandates, school closures, coerced vaccination, social distancing of six feet, and more. We've learned many lessons. Our early fear and confusion was understandable. COVID-19 was clearly a novel virus. Under your leadership, NIAID allowed disgraced characters like Dr. Peter Daszak to use millions in taxpayer dollars to conduct risky gain-of-function experiments in Wuhan, China. Well, I mean, I mean that was the just... Video was not even... That was kind of click... They kind of clickbaited us just there a little bit, did they not? Yeah. A watchdog group is accused of... Uh, of Dr. Anthony Fauci of having lied to Congress later uh, last month when he claimed that he'd never used private emails to conduct official business, pointing to the newly obtained records on the Beaglegate scandal. Though his attorney uh, has denied any wrongdoing, Fauci, 80, is he 83? Yeah, he's old man. We're bitching about Joe and maybe Trump being too fucking old. This guy's too fucking old. Get him the fuck out of there. He is. He's retired. Is he out of there? Yeah. Good. Now press fucking charges on him. Didn't Trump fire him? No, I don't think so. He uh, wanted to, but they wouldn't. They wouldn't. Uh, they couldn't get rid of. Okay. Yeah. Fauci eighty three. The journalist. Blah 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 blah. Uh, addressed during a public relations firestone over research being conducted on beagle puppies by his National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, the F uh, the F O I A FOIA. I'm sorry, FOIA records obtained by the White Coat Waste Project. And exclusively shared to the Post show that the controversy, controversial agency funded research included the the tormenting and killing of beagle puppies and a, to, is it, what that company that's a, it's a country to, to, oh, t- to, oh t- tons, Tanzania <laughs> Tanzania I think right to learn more about uh, parasitic diseases they uh, they would use um, puppies Lummy and put their heads. Inside of uh, like a tent. Oh. Yeah, they cut out their vocal cords too. Oh. So they would cut out their vocal cords so they couldn't bark, probably. And then they would make them, then they would sedate them and make them put their heads inside of a tent that was filled full of mosquitoes and things like that. Yeah. And let them get bitten thousands and thousands of times. And then they would, you know, do experiments on how the dog reacted to being bit by. Oh, man. <clears throat> yeah. Fuck that guy. Jeez. You know what? You know this story's over, but you want know the official ruling on Lummy is? What? F- fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Using six Fucking idiot. Month old puppies. Um, Lummy, you can start the story because I can make this fairly simple. Right. Travis and, Ch- and, and Jason Kelsey are seeking a massive $100 million payday for their podcast. Listen, you two fucking lunkheads. <laughs> Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan was paid $100 million for, for Spotify, and they couldn't sustain that salary for the greatest of all times when it comes to podcasting. What are you two fucking lunkheads going to talk about? You've already talked about the Taylor Swift aspect. You've already talked about being a sinner in the league aspect. They won the Super Bowl. He retired. I mean, I think, honestly, Bubba, I think they've peaked. I don't know what you'd be I think paying they them. Have. I don't know what you'd be paying them 100 for. No, I think they've peaked. I don't think America's really, you know. I don't know how the fuck I'd make my with him. I don't know how the fuck you'd make your money back on the hundred million. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know either. Uh, Next story: More than seventy thousand unoccupied migrant children released to sponsors. So does that mean, as these illegals are coming across, we are? We're giving them adoption agencies. Gathering them. Separating them from their parents? Are we sending their parents home and then allowing them to stay and then we put them into a foster type program? Is that what's going the fuck on? Um, I think they're unoccupied because they don't have the parents there. Like they like the parents just send the kids to to or, escape to a better life, or they're using like uh, kids to uh, get do, in, do bad things. Yeah, well, like be fake, uh, you know, parents. Fake parents. And, yeah. Oh, using kids for meals? Southern border yeah. crisis. Let's bring in Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb and New York Post reporter Jenny Terror. Welcome to both of you. 
Thank you. Thanks for having us on. That's a real Texan right there, isn't it? Yeah. That's a real cowboy. Cowboy hats take up the whole fucking screen. It's a real fight. It does. It's a real fucking cowboy <laughs> Shit, hat. Man. It's okay. Let's look at this headline. Illegal immigrant caused DUI collision that killed 22-year-old in tragic hit and run in New Mexico. Sheriff, heartbreaking, but not surprising. Not surprising at all. This actually happens a lot more than you would think. When we do our FBI crime statistics, we pass them on to the FBI. There is no box to check for somebody who is here in this country illegally. So this type of crime is happening much So they're more- saying, let me, they can't even really, like, account for these fuckers doing bad stuff because there's no category to put them in. Correct. Fuck, illegal fucker doing bad stuff. I don't know if that's on the box more frequently you're just not hearing about it and lately over the last several months because this border has become such a hot topic and it's become a major issue this political cycle so let me uh, i need to find the story though about- i need to find the story of the actual kid deal you did know, you guys did, uh, you did guys, i get did i get click did i get click baiting on that one you think? Uh, part of the video but yeah but there, i guess there's a whistleblower that's claiming dhs lost eighty-five thousand migrant children the biden Harris the biden harris administration has supercharged a lawful po- pathways program that has helped admit tens of thousands of people into Latin from Latin America. The Safe Mobility Office initiative launched in May of 2023 has given the uh, expanded capacities this spring has worked to fly tens of thousands of people into the United States through the ref- refugee resettlement process, despite those being uh, of nationalities that have rarely qualified for refugee status. All of that, this, this whole, by the way, let me start the story. <laughs> This whole fucking refugee thing, whether you're documented or you're not, you're illegal or you're like, first of all, I think they're all illegal because I think, let me, they let you in. Even even if they process you and let you in, they give you a court date to come back to like Houston in 2027 Yeah, that you're not going to fucking do. And so you're going to trickle yourself into society. And when 2027 June comes around and you're supposed to be in Houston, you're like, whatever, motherfucker. Yeah. I'm in Minnesota with, you know, working, picking strawberries. So bitch, it, by the way, mine. it's not allowed to be called illegal. No, it's, it's, a, it's undocumented workers. Did you see the video of, of San Diego where they there were they dropped the jet skis? Yeah, where yeah. they dropped they dropped off a couple of illegals and everybody started cheering and saying "Welcome to America." When the guys just were they just, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, now yeah. we got people saying "Welcome to America" when they're going. Bob, it was crazy. They were just at the beach, like they're at the beach, and then a, a guy pulls up on a jet ski. The a guy hops off, and then another guy pulls up and gets jet ski. Another guy hops off, and they just start running, and then everybody's clapping, saying "Welcome to America." Welcome to America. There's the new America. Arrive on a jet ski with a Mexican, and we we fucking throw you a concert. <laughs> and then finally, my last story of the day, Lemmy. Who, it's big old ten dollars. Who gives a fuck about Rob Schneider? He's he's been this fucking guy that sucked uh, uh, Adam Sandler and a couple other famous Hollywood guys who had fran. You know, Adam Sandler would do his movie, and he'd always have his boys in it, right? Yeah, yeah. And Rob and Rob. Rob Schneider was one of those boys. I think he might have been in every fucking Adam Sandler movie ever made. And then he got some of them. Then he got some movies because of what Deuce Bigelow, Male Jiggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess he does stand up now. Uh, it's and, like a right wing kind of comedian. And, and, yeah, and, we've had him on. And, and, and we have. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he was going good. Did it go good, and then it didn't go good. Well, then you just told him how hot his wife was, and just kept going off about his wife. And I think it kind of offended him. But is that what we've heard on the backside? Yeah. You were pretty fretting over her, oh. huge knocks. <laughs> He's got mad about that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was, and, you know, but I was like, God, your wife's hot. No, oh, knocks or egg and stuff like that. Oh, you know, we got through half of these stories. How about that? We got through half of these fucking stories. How about that, Seth? That means less prep that we have to send for tomorrow's show. Tomorrow Friday? Hell yeah. Fuck yeah.